All right, if you're here because you're just starting to grow hydroponically and you're looking for a great free resource of information, then you are in the right place. And make sure you check out humblegrowthhydroponics.com for even more free resources. I have tons of guides and garden blueprints over there that you can download for completely free. So either click this link or the description box down below and get yourself set up for success. All right, so in this video, I wanna help you guys get growing by putting together five mistakes that you can easily avoid. And by avoiding these mistakes, you'll also be avoiding much much larger problems within your hydroponic garden. So I'm gonna cover more than just the mistakes, I'm gonna cover what will happen and how to prevent those things from happening. So the first mistake that I see people make, number five we'll say, and we'll count down to number one. Number five would be transparent containers. Uh, so when you grow hydroponically, you need to make sure that no light is gonna get into, into your water nutrient reservoir. This is really important because if light gets in there, then algae will grow. Now, when algae grows inside of your nutrient reservoir, it begins to eat the nutrients and the oxygen from the water. So your plants aren't getting the nutrients and the oxygen that they need because the algae starts eating it all out of the water. So that's why we wanna avoid algae in our gardens. And the best way that we can avoid algae in our gardens, period, is to starve them of light and not have something like a clear garden. For I see a lot of people do cracky gardens with these clear jars. Make sure you cover those up or even like a white bucket. Um, that will definitely grow algae over time. So make sure you're considering how much light can get into your reservoir when you start building your gardens and putting them together. Number four. Nutrients either being too high or too low. I notice a lot of people when they first start either go in one direction or the other. And I have a bunch of guides uh, just about nutrients and the amount of nutrients you're gonna need and how to measure your EC. And it really doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. You can follow the back of the bottle, but a lot of times that will lead you astray. So make sure you pick up an EC or a TDS meter to measure your nutrients and then follow along with a guide. So go download that nutrient guide and that'll give you a great idea and a great direction for how much nutrients to add. So you're not adding too much or too little. So the number three beginner's mistake that I see people make, and I made this mistake for a little while when I first started growing hydroponically, is setting the pH to soil. Okay, so when you search on Google uh, for what is the preferred pH for like broccoli, it's gonna come up with this, which that's actually gonna be way too basic for your plant. Hydroponic gardens tend to be one whole point down more in the acidic range. So if you type in broccoli for a hydroponic garden, you'll see that number go down to about 6.0. When you're searching to find out what pH you should be setting your garden to, make sure you search for in a hydroponic garden when you're typing in what type of plants uh, for that pre preferred pHs. Two, people don't allow enough root space in their garden. Uh, I see this a lot with the smaller cracky gardens when the plants get larger, or uh, I hate to say it, but like the 3D printed tower gardens, they're just too small to grow any larger plants. Um, even with some of the a lot to be honest a lot of the cheaper uh, like Chinese made tower gardens that you can pick up off of Amazon they don't have enough root space to really get things going and at some point your plant just kind of stops growing or it breaks the garden uh, but what you'll see is is it will just stop growing it won't turn into flowering it won't produce any fruit because uh, there's not enough space for the roots to continue to grow and that can be a huge problem in these smaller gardens. Now, hydroponics does have a huge advantage because uh, you have all that area for just the roots to grow. We're not worried about filling that up with dirt or any other substrate. We either just have water or we just have air for these roots to grow in. Uh, the number one issue with hydroponics, the number one thing that you're gonna wanna make sure you pay attention to and avoid is your water temperature. Let me explain why. Water temperature in a hydroponic garden directly determines a few things. Uh, one is the amount of available oxygen in your water, and this is really important with hydroponics because, so obviously plants do need oxygen to survive. This is why when people see plants in like a cracky garden just inside of water or a deep water culture, they wonder how can that plant grow in there well, you need to make sure that the water actually does have oxygen in it. If it's too hot, then the oxygen level will go down significantly. That's actually not even the biggest problem. The biggest problem that comes from water temperature rising above about 85 degrees Fahrenheit is a danger spot. Anything above that and you're running into huge issues is actually root rot. So root rot is actually a blanket term for any like pathogens, any fungus or bacteria that grows on your roots and um, kills them, starts, causes them to eat themselves and devours them. Usually it's a fungus found in hydroponic gardens that can't grow below 83 degrees Fahrenheit and thrives above 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So if we keep our 
water temperature um, below 80 degrees, that's always a safe spot, then we'll avoid this fungus-based root rot, which will kill your plants very quickly. So I recommend to people who have gardens outside uh, to maybe bury your reservoir or move it inside or get a water cooling system that, that cools the water down as it flows through it. You can get stuff like that for like freshwater or saltwater aquariums to keep the, the, the water much more cool. But that's incredibly important and that's one that I think it's overlooked more than any. All right, so I hope this top five list was helpful for you. Don't forget to head over to Humble Growth Hydroponics and download all the free guides that you can, as well as check out this playlist right here, uh, Hydroponics 101, that'll get you growing. And uh, let's grow together. Thank you.